All right, this is the 14 foot whipping rod. This is the newest one for the Hawaiian Custom Series, um, targeted for the Big Island for uh, Hilo and Kona, going for that long distance Akuli bombing. 14 feet, guys. Impressive, 14 feet. Yeah. Okay, this is my 14 foot rod I'm gonna to use tonight. This is uh, my Blue Azores 4000. It's 20 pound test braid. This is a very impressive long distance whipping rod. At the end, it's gonna be a uh, one ounce lead egg. And it's, I'm gonna have a B buffer, and I'm gonna have a snap swivel on that. So this way, um, the bead will protect um, the line from getting chafed up by the lead. And the one thing you have to be careful about, is you always make sure that the braid or mono line does not loop over the tip, because if that happens and you try to cast, you can actually snap that tip off. Okay, I just found out there's a huge Northwest Northwest swell coming in tonight. It's gonna be big, up to 20 feet. So I'm gonna try to get out tonight, but I probably won't make it in time. So I'm using my old setup from way back when. So I got some hooks, some of them are sickle hooks. I got some um, extra glow flies. Got my swivels, different types of fluorocarbon line for leaders. I got um, better line now, so I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna use the better one later on. Got some evil eyes, some pre-made leaders, some um, beads. These are really, these are good. These are Aus Austrian bead crystals. And they actually, as soon as the light hits even starlight, they will glow. Okay, got some whipping leads. Got some small um, hooks over here that um, really hold very well. These are hybrids that um, CHL, um, Landon Yamamoto made for me. And I got my regular glow grubs. Everything's all set for tonight. You gotta love these hammer bombs. Right, it's marked with a 1.0, that means it's one else. At night, that is gonna be flashing up a storm. Give that a try tonight. All right, guys, Batman has his utility belt. I have my utility lanyard. I use this around my neck at night. Nail clippers over here to cut line. Quick light over here, just to see really fast what's going on. And for my uh, glow grubs, I use UV light. All at my fingertips. Aloha, guys, this is Scuba Chris. Okay. On everything I got set up, that was uh, actually a video for almost half a year ago, and I never finished it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it on how to go for Cooley, which is scads from the shoreline, and I like to go at night, but sometimes you go during the day, because they're here right now, late summer, they're in during the day. So this here is what I'm gonna need for making the leaders. It's more simplified what I showed before because what I showed before is everything you need and then you kind of pick and choose what you want, all right? So if I'm going during the day, I want my leaders long. Like, I go three spans, so that's like five time, five feet a span. So roughly 15 feet is what I do during the day because the fish have very good eyesight. You can tell from the big eyes. At nighttime, it doesn't matter that much, so I go with eight feet, which is like about one and a half. So like say, for example, um, we want to go, okay, daytime, so, I mean nighttime, this is eight pound. Nighttime really doesn't matter much because the fish are not going to see the line that well. 
So let me see now. We're gonna. This is a quick example. So we're gonna go one full and a half. And I always use fluorocarbon, all right, for your leaders. Um, and, the, and normally I use sickle hooks because sickle, as you know, has those little barbs on the hook. So it, it, it has a tendency, if you're using salt baits, to keep the bait on the hook. Now, this is a sickle hook. Notice those barbs on the hook, right? And what makes this hook special is factory offset. Look at that. It is not straight. It, the, the barb is offset from the shank. That, so that means that it's gonna be a faster, quicker hookup. So the, the type of hook I like to use nowadays is, is from Mustad, and I, and I get it by the box. Okay, they are called um, slice shank. That is uh, the type of hook called a slight shank. And what it is is because of the two sickles on it, it's gonna hold the whatever bait or grub you're gonna put on this. So what I do is on one end of this, I'm gonna put a uh, surgeon's loop, which basically is you just get your line, double it up like this. I'm gonna go go through once, twice, draw it up. That's it. I mean, it works. I, I've caught big papillos, which are jacks, with this, and this works. This is the part that goes to your your rig okay so on the end of this here you go Be now before i tie on the hook you can put beads you can use uh fluorescent green beads which does help i have these beautiful austrian crystals these are beautiful austrian crystals they they, you, they it just glows like nothing else even in at night because it catches the starlight it'll make it glow uh, or you can go with evil eyes get these from Asia um, they, they come for jury so the evil eyes so they, you know, you know they, during the daytime they help the fish the fish see that but I, I like putting one red or one green but this time I'm not gonna put any but I'm just saying those do work all right so the only thing you have to do use your favorite knot I prefer Palomar because Palomar is so easy and it's so fast so, shoot, let's see. and it's so hard when I'm trying to do this away from my recording unit. So, you know, we put the line through the eye. Ah! And the fact that this is very thin line is not helping. There, if we put when we put the line back through. See that? Okay. It's easy to do this in your lap. Try do this while looking towards the light over there and um, trying to do this on camera. So you just okay. Palomar, the simplest. One of the strongest knots around, make a loop, put the uh, loop towards the hole you just made, like so, see that? So now we got this loop here, you put the hook through that loop you just made, boom, you're done, that's it. That is a Palomar, okay? That is a simple knot. It works very well for what we're gonna do. And you, you can wrap this around a piece of uh, cardboard like I do, like here. Works very well. That's it, that's, that's all you have to do. It takes me about a minute to do one of these correctly, there's no rush. For um, going at night, for scads, I like to use grubs. 
I like the CHL brand. These are the Completely Hook Lures by Landon Yamamoto. Um, this, these are some of my favorites, the Old Baby. These are orange, they glow in the dark. These are um, named uh, Scuba Blues after me, also by CHL. These work too. Anything that glows at night, you're gonna have an easier time going for them. That's why a lot of people will add on a glow bead because that just helps illuminate everything. And if you put a red bead with that, it, it stimulates what the eyeball would look like, okay? That's it, guys, very simple. Thank you.